Hi, welcome. This is Fashion Art Media. I'm your presenter, Lydia Cutler, and today I have with me a journalist and a fashion photographer. I'm going to allow her to speak to you and tell you about herself. Welcome. Please Hello. introduce yourself. Hi, yourself. Lydia. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good, good. Um, I'm Sherry Beasley, and I'm a fashion photographer who works around the northeast of Aberdeen. Uh, of Aberdeen, of Scotland, should I say. Um, and uh, I started off, I suppose, um, in landscape photography, which I thought was where I wanted to go. But I moved on, and as soon as they put me in front of a model, that was it. I was away. I loved it. <laughs> it was what I wanted. Um, it was amazing. Um, what are the unique I'm just going by your questions here. Oh, what so are the unique qualities in fashion photography? Um, I think it's creating a vision. It's a vision of not only how you see how the product should look, how the model should look, but also how it should be perceived by the viewer. Um, and if right. you get that right, it's absolutely amazing. Um, Again, you can get it totally wrong, but you have That's to take right. in, That's you right. have to take in everybody's input to get it right, especially the designer. So it's, it's it's key to listen. Listening is one of the good qualities that a photographer can exactly. have. Um, so, what made you want to do uh, fashion photography? I didn't start out wanting to do fashion photography. I originally started as a landscape photographer. Yes. And I went to study and do my um, degree in commercial photography. And when I was put in front of fashion um, and people, that was the, the defining moment for me. I realized mm -hmm. that being a, a landscape photographer was a pretty safe way of being. Mm -hmm. um, but challenging yourself and having to consider what other people wanted, how the model right. felt. In landscape, it's only yourself and the environment. Exactly. You know, but in fashion, there are so many people. There's makeup artists, hairstylists, um, the person who's um, creating the shoots. So your shoot designer, um, the, the fashion designer, um, and the story, uh, you have to be able to, to communicate it all. And sometimes exactly. you get it wrong. Sometimes you totally get it wrong. But usually that's if you're just not listening. Right. So you have so, to listen to everyone. So do you like the challenge? Do you prefer uh, fashion photography or do, do you think that you might want to go back to, uh, you know, uh, shooting landscape? I still go out and shoot landscape, but I don't uh -huh. put it on my social media. Um, right. Very rarely. Um, mm -hmm. That's just something for me. I don't want to confuse the viewer. Um, I, I want to do fashion, and if I start putting landscapes up, it what is what what do you what do you do? What what are you actually doing? You know. Right. So, um, fashion and beauty are where I want to be. Right. Do you get any challenges as a fashion photographer? Finding the fashion, especially up in this area, it's quite mm -hmm. difficult. Um, yeah. Finding diff different fashion. Um, and at the moment, the challenge we've got, um, the magazine that I work for, he is not putting out any features. He's doing it online. Um, he shut it down for the last three, four months. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with, he's looking to, to come back out at the end of this situation. But at the moment, it's very, very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. And you can't, makeup's another challenge because you can't actually put the full makeup on. The, 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 the model has to wear the mask. So it, it's proving to be a real dilemma. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of work lined up, mm. but we've decided to sit on it 
and just wait until everyone feels safe about it all. Yeah, exactly. We are having the same uh, uh, problems here. You know, with the pandemic, nobody wants to go and put makeup on another. Nobody yeah. wants to do shoots. That's it. So yeah. everything is pretty careful. much the same everywhere. Yeah. But normally, uh, before this uh, started, I'm sure that you were working with uh, the makeup artist, the model, and yourself to give yeah. a photo, sorry, a good photo. Can you tell us about that, those three people, how you work together? Um, I think you, you have to respect every single person that's involved in the shoot. Mm -hmm. I do not go into, I, was, I go into the shoot with an idea of what I want. Right. Sometimes what I come out with is completely different because you have to welcome the input from everyone involved. Yes. Um, I may want a makeup a certain way. However, the makeup artist might say, but what about this? Mm -hmm. You have to be open to, to ideas so that you are working as a team. Um, and sometimes what you come out with is even better than you anticipated at the beginning because, and, I, and sometimes I get it so wrong. I'll have an idea in my head that I want to do something, but without really clearly thinking about it and the complete look, mm -hmm. I, can, I can sometimes get it very, very wrong. And that's why we have professionals. That's why we have a professional makeup artist, a professional hair stylist. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's why we also have to take into consideration the designer, the clothing designer's preferences. Exactly. Well, how they want their their clothing range to look. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes what I go in with in my head is not what we end up with. Exactly. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Because you're taking everyone on board. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, for fashion shows, the designer wants a particular way she wants or he wants their clothes to look. Yeah. So maybe sometimes you don't have a lot of things you can do about that. You just have to go with the flow. That's which right. Which obviously yeah. might not be good for you. It, it might not be my concept, but if I get it right for the designer, then I've done my job. So right. then it's good. <laughs> right. So what challenges besides uh, the pandemic, what challenges normally do you get during a uh, either a, a, a photo shoot or uh, shooting the runway. Are there any challenges you get when doing that? I don't do many of the runway. I've been really happy to come to Aberdeen Fashion Week and, and shoot some, but it's not my real thing. So doing Thank fashion you. shoots are what I do. And it, it can be, Everybody has to be 100% on board during the shoot. Um, I have had situations in the past where if the model's not feeling very well or um, they're late or the, the, I don't know, there can be any loads of things. The makeup artist doesn't understand the brief. Um, the hairstylist has an either, another idea. I mean, don't get me wrong when we do these shoots it's a good idea to take everyone's ideas on board because yes. i don't have everything right sometimes the concept or the idea that the um, designer has mm -hmm. actually when she hears a different perspective on it can say well wait let's try that as well right. so um yeah um it it, it i I don't know. I think um, you have to take everyone's opinion in and think about it. And at the end of the day, it's the fashion designer who calls the shots. It's her clothing. His exactly. clothing. I shouldn't say her. I should his or her. But then again, sometimes you see something. For instance, the fashion designer says, "Oh, I want, I want, uh, you know, the photo or the shoot to go this way." But you, as a photographer, you know that that's wrong. How do you help save that photo shoot? 
Well, what we can do is we can do it the way the designer wants. Right. And then we can say, let's just try something a little bit different. If you don't like it, it's fine, but we will try it. Um, and sometimes they go, oh, my God, that really does work. That's mm. so much nicer. Sometimes they say, no, I still don't like that. And you have to respect that. It's, it's right. their designs. So sometimes you go home feeling really upset because a shoot didn't go as you expected because everyone is working together and sometimes you you find that it's not what you're looking for or do you just say okay that happened let's move on um i don't think i've ever had one where it hasn't worked out um i think if you respect everyone in the shoot and mm -hmm. respectfully put your opinion across and mm -hmm. just say let's try it right then we'll get whether the whether the designer's right whether the makeup artist has input and we try that mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who's right at the end of the day it matters right. on the outcome and right. if we can get that outcome then that's perfect and it's a team effort it's amazing right. at right. the end of the day the designer has the last say on what images are used exactly so Fair enough. we can only try different things and then the designer says right that that and that or right. let's go back and do it again we haven't quite got it <laughs> so i have a personal question here okay i see that your little granddaughter is such a nice model do you work with her at home doing photo shoots do i sorry your granddaughter <laughs> Which is the eldest one, it must be the eldest one. The yeah. one you take a lot of nice photos with. Um, she's six, the six year old one? Yes. So do you want her to go on to become a, a model or is it uh, um, a play thing you do at home taking photos? I think she would enjoy being a model. Um, she's beautiful. The only issue I have at the moment is she's only ever been photographed by me and I'm I'm granny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. It'd be interesting to see how she behaved when it was someone else wow. or or definitely on a catwalk or what. I, I, she's open to it. Right. And so are her mum and dad. We've already spoken about it. Right. Um, I just think that if she came through to Aberdeen Fashion Week, um yeah. mom and dad would probably have to be there as well <laughs> yeah i hope she does she's beautiful sometimes i see her photos and i say this uh, little girl is going to make it in the fashion industry because she has that look oh she's so cute but then she's my granddaughter so i'm biased <laughs> <laughs> so anyway do you have any advice you can give anyone wanting to be a fashion photographer um don't think you can't do it um i think i was a landscape photographer because it was a safe place it was it was my safe place yes but as <laughs> find yourself a fashion or beauty photographer that you like the look of and approach them they're not all that offhand Mm -hmm. and, and if and, and I'm sure they'd help you it's there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of work out there for a lot of people and if you get it right you're going to get the work but you need to get the experience and it doesn't matter which fashion photographer or which beauty photographer you go to because you mm -hmm. will pick up things you like from them and things you don't like exactly. and exactly. you'll make your own decision um but the more experienced, the better. Right. And there are people out there who who will help. So if anyone wants to give me a holler, hello, you can come and spend time. Oh, that is when we're allowed to be around each other. <laughs> yes, of course. But um, you can actually tell us about uh, if you have social media uh, pages or websites. If you have those, you can tell us. I've taken my website down because I'm going to restructure the website. Um, but I, whether it be my Sherry Beasley page or the Sherry Beasley Facebook page, or 
I've got Instagram. I don't tend to use Instagram a lot. Um, yes. And most of my work actually goes on my personal page. So right. it would be my personal page. Just add me or send me a message and I'll add you or whatever. Um, just, right. Yeah, it's nice to make connections. Sounds good. So just one last question. Mm -hmm. um, you are a journalist. Yeah, well, Do you um, have any advice for anyone wanting to be a journalist? Um, advice? Hmm. Probably yes. Find yourself a local magazine first. Not, don't aspire to go to the bigger magazines because there's going to be so many trying to do that and get a body of work behind you um, before you decide to go somewhere else. Right. Um, but sometimes the magazine you'll go to first might not be the magazine you aspire to be with. Right. That's okay. That's your foot in the door. So if it's a local magazine, go to it and, and start your journey. Right. Just consider uh -huh. how you start. You just consider on the way that you do it right and you do it the way that you would do it because that the way that you do it is what will get you the work in the future if people like it. And then you're being honest. Right. And be objective. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much. This has been really great because you've given us a lot of advice there. You've told us about... Uh, uh, your routine it's it's amazing and um I, I was sorry to hear that uh, the the paper that you work for the, the magazine you work for at the moment is everywhere is the same but i hope that soon you can go back to to your normal work doing your journalism i don't think it'll be too long down the road so we mm -hmm. should be back soon but i right. have been keeping busy so it's all good um i've kind of right. ventured into pregnancy shoots with a bit of attitude oh so wow i think that's it's a nice goal because these ladies are fierce uh-huh <laughs> so, <laughs> do you have them on your social media i do yes i have just put a couple up maybe about a month ago right yeah so, so yes, it's a beautiful girl called abby uh -huh. from Elgin and right. she has a great future ahead of her actually. Right, sounds good. So we look forward to seeing your photos and thank you so much for being here today. Oh no, thank you Lydia, it's been lovely seeing you again. I haven't seen you for ages. Thank you. I know. <laughs> we'll get it's there soon. Lovely. <laughs> Sorry? You take care. Take care too, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.